Good morning, good morning. Welcome back. Another video here, Sailing Learning by Doing. Vernon, Marie behind the camera today. Right now we're anchored in a lovely spot called Pancake Creek. As you can see, very nice. Have to take my word for it. We didn't film anything. We only arrived here at sunset yesterday. We haven't even unloaded the dinghy and gone ashore. We're in a bit of a, not a rush, but we're having to pick and choose our spots. And today, right now, basically, we're leaving again. So we didn't see this. We're going out to a more awesome place called Lady Musgrave. It's an atoll about 40 miles offshore from here. It'll take four or five hours to get out there. Five, six hours probably. And uh, the reason why we're in a rush is because it's uh, a pretty good weather window coming up with some variable winds for two or three days. Perfect to go out to the reef. So that's the mission today. Sail out there, get through the cut and enjoy ourselves in the lagoon. Anchors up. We're uh, sailing out. There's a bit of a dog leg and there's a channel out of this river here. The green and the red up there. We've got to go through there and then it widens up a bit after that. But the tide just turned. We were sort of waiting for that. We could have left earlier, but the tide was against us. And there's a couple of knots coming down this river. Well, we're doing five and a half knots and we're not really, I've only got the main up. But um, three of that's the current or two at least. So yeah, we'll cruise out and hopefully when we get out there, there'll be a bit wind in the right direction. The wind's actually coming from the south right now and it's so funny here we've had northerlies the last two days and it's just hot 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 because the wind comes from the equator and as soon as the wind turns around from the south or southeast which is coming up from well Antarctica initially um, it cools down about five six degrees it's quite pleasant now though you see I've got long pants on there goes the boom. I am quite excited to go to Lady Mo's grave because I, I looked at some pictures and it looks really a beautiful place, uh, really like crazy landscape. But I'm also a bit sad because it's going to be probably our last tropical place, our last tropical snorkeling with some corals, because after that we're going to be in more temperate weather. So yeah, it's a bit like the last of enjoyment of tropical weather. Ocean breakfast. Hmm? What are you having? Sprout, fresh cheese with paprika and a cracker. Right, we're cruising along nicely, but we're doing eights and above actually. We're cruising along real good. We've only got small, well, I've got one reef in the main and really a small amount of jib out. Yeah, we've got no current either way, so it's pretty nice. But um, as you can see, it's a bit bumpy. There is probably a, well, it's not a swell. It's just a chop, a short duration, a bit of annoying chop. And we're on 60 degrees to the wind. So uh, we're sort of crossing over these waves. It's a little bit annoying. Um, and we're going to have that the whole way really. So I've only got 30 miles to go so we've done 10 already and um, well I so say yeah we've done more than an hour but only just yeah we're flying along and I, have, I haven't had any breakfast yet so I'm going to go downstairs and try and make some breakfast in this chop 
that'll be fun. Okay, I'm downstairs. I should have had breakfast before we left, but the tide turned and I just want to get out of there. So now I'm going to show you my attempt to make breakfast and uh, with a bit of a heel and a bit of a bounce. Having this anti-skid layer really helps. Mix up some milk. Normally I'm mixing the plate, but you can't do that when it's rolling. Here where it's a bit more useful. Oh, takes a lot of effort to do this. Alright. Get the milk in there. Woo! Oh, that's spilled already. Too much milk. Bugger. Okay. Love me breakfast. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to go and turn 20 degrees downwind. Alright. There we go. 30 degrees downwind. And everything mellows out a bit. Because the apparent wind goes down, so the boat speed, well, we're probably still doing, we're still doing 7 9, but we're at a better angle to the waves and there's less pressure on the sails. So yeah, so we're not on course anymore, but I'm going to get my breakfast. Make sure I get rid of that. And I can clean this up at the same time. Got sticky milk getting everywhere. Some pineapple. Peach. We're getting a bit further south now. We're um, leaving the mango area, but we're getting into stone fruit area, which is awesome. Haven't had peaches for about four or five years. Ah, ah. Spilt some more. All right, that'll have to be enough for now for breakfast. Finished my breakfast now. Just put another reef in, so second reef. And Marie got one splash, and uh, so she's moved down to the couch now. Have a bit of a sleep probably, and uh, in about three and a half hours we'll be out there. We're still, even with the second reef, we're still doing eights. So it doesn't want to slow down. The old girl just loves to gallop. No trotting. Yeah, six and a half. She doesn't like to go six and a half actually very much. We have to be eight knots is the new six and a half. You just have to fall in love with eight knots. <laughs> Alright, so you might be wondering why we're sailing out to a reef 40 miles offshore in this sort of weather. Uh, 20 knots of wind, one metre swell, not very sunny. Well, the sunny part we can't really control. Well, none of the weather we control, but we could have waited a day. But tomorrow is, and the next day are the variable winds, 10, 5 to 10 knots, changing direction. And that's the days we want to be out at the reef. And I don't know if you noticed, but back in the anchorage, there's about six other boats, most of them all um, small catamarans. My guess is they'll be coming out tomorrow. But they'll be motoring out tomorrow. That's the difference. Um, 
probably more comfortable, but I don't like the motor. And this is the option. You take it when the wind's here. Uh, the weather forecast says around uh, 9, 10 o'clock tonight it's going to die off. So we'll, we'll get in there at about 3. We'll be anchored up by 2 or 3. And then there'll be a couple of hours of, well, 5 or 6 hours of, it's still windy like this, 15 to 20 knots. We're inside a lagoon, it won't be too bad, especially when it's not high tide. At high tide, some of you get some spillover of swell, but it won't be too bad. But then we'll be out there and we can enjoy it tomorrow and spending the whole day tomorrow motoring out there and missing one of the variable good weather days of the reef. So that's, that's the way it is. We choose to do this, take the wind and then sit out a few hours of bad weather to have good weather out there. Hope that makes sense. one or two hours because it was a bit uncomfortable for me and I'm gonna try to check if there's any bummies and try to guide Vernon in the entry but we picked the tide correctly so normally it should be quite easy Alright, that's us anchored up here in Lady Musgrave. Well guys, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed that bit of pure sailing action. Next week's video will be all about our little four day stay out at the amazing Lady Musgrave Island. The amount of turtles that were nesting, the birds there, the uh, underwater life, even saw some manta rays. Just amazing. Hope you look forward to that video. A little word here for me at the end guys. Obviously our videos are not quite real time. We try and keep them as close as we can. This video is obviously from sailing to Lady Musgrave, which is about three weeks behind real time. Right now we are here. Scarborough Marina in North Brisbane. We're anchored up here for Christmas with family. And I just wanted to give you a little shout out that we are organizing a meetup. We like to meet uh, you viewers, patrons, potential viewers, anyone that's interested really, uh, here at Scarborough Marina. Here's the details down below. Shehalion will be parked right down here, hopefully. So you wanna see the boat that's getting us around on these adventures, she'll be right here. We'll show you around her inside, outside, and we'd love to meet you and have a chat. There'll be some drinks and some uh, snacks here available, and that'll be on Sunday, the 18th of December, between two and 5 p.m. Thanks again very much much appreciated all of our patrons obviously you guys are making this happen for us um, you know the reason we spend hours filming and editing and showing you all these adventures we wouldn't be doing this if no one was contributing a little bit just think of it as a price of a coffee per week to watch these adventures potential patrons that would be awesome if you guys joined up as well see you next time bye bye